Hey guys, it is day one of Smutathon, so I figured I'd go ahead and hop in on here and show you the three books that I have physically. I have some books on my Kindle app, which is on my phone, but I'm going to show you guys what I plan to read hopefully, and then I will do, uh, get into the vlog. Hold on, I'm pulling something up. Sorry guys. So, the first book I plan to read, I totally forgot I owned this book, and it is Landline by Rainbow Rowell. I don't have the dust jacket on it. Um, the dust jacket is right here. I totally forgot I had this. Haven't read it yet. This is about a couple who the main character, Georgie, is working for like a TV show thing. Um, her marriage is in trouble, and they plan to spend Christmas with her husband's family. And before they're about to leave, Georgie says she can't go because of the big thing that they have to produce before Christmas. So, and things go from there. I have started it. I just started it. I'm on page six. So I'm going to try and read Landline. It's not very long at all. So that. I also have with me A Princess Theory by Alyssa Cole. I know nothing about this. And I cannot pronounce these names to save my life. Who? It's about a girl who has multiple jobs. And is in grad school doesn't have time for fairy tales or patience for the con consistent emails claiming she's betrothed to an African prince and she deletes all of the emails she is a foster kid she can only depend on herself so this is a for the arranged marriage trope so I'll give it a go, see how it is. And then I have here On the Island by Tracy Grave Graves Graves. I uh, middle and last name are very close and similar, but this is about a teacher and a student. The student is sixteen and they spend the summer on a tropical island. And there is nowhere to go. So the two aboard on a aboard a private plane. The Callan's summer home. But they the plane crashes in a shark infested waters. So they have definitely nowhere to go. And I think it's a teacher student relationship type of thing. It's a survival story, and all I know is nothing happens between the teacher and the student until the student is 18. So, they are stuck on this island for a long time. So, I'm going to read this as well and see how it goes. But I do have a ebook on my phone that I do want to read, and it's a Jay Daniels book. And it is, oh, where is it? Four. No, not four. Where? It's, uh, I cannot find it. Why can't I find this book? We'll shall see. Um, no, here. 
here it is. Six. Haha. It's book six in the Alabama Summer series. It's All We Want. And this involves um, each story follows a different couple. This one follows Tessa and Luke. They've been married. Now they want to have children. So I'm going to read that on my phone. So yeah, that's all for now. I'm going to read Landline and I will catch up with you guys to, in a little while and see how far I get in Landline. And I will update you guys then. Hey guys, so I'm going to close out yesterday's vlog for Smutathon so I can get it up. I only read a little bit of Landline. I read about 58 pages of Landline yesterday because I need to get Vengeful done today. So I'm going to get this done before I read landline so that was it for day one and i will see you guys for day two and i will talk to y'all later in tomorrow's today's video but for day two of smutathon